Liam and I took a stroll through Bay Area for the weekend and wow, we were mesmerized by the views. We were driving through Mission Bay in San Francisco and on the way to Marin and just look at these clear blue skies. And now what you're probably here for is the Marin headlands of Sausalito. I'll take you on the coastal route first. You're basically driving up or biking or walking up the mountains not too far off of the highway. The view of the Golden Gate Bridge, of course, is so highly visible up here. That's the San Francisco Bay that you're seeing to the left of the bridge and the right is the Pacific Ocean. And this isn't even at the highest point of the mountain. This is just the view from maybe 90% of the way up. You can also see it again when you go down the scenic overlook route. Breathtaking, huh? Once you get up to the very top, the way back down is so, so beautiful too. We're driving slow now to make sure we capture everything on camera for you guys. The way down, it continues to slope continuously and you get this panoramic view from all parts of the mountain of the surrounding terrain. We've gone up and down this path several times and you know what? You can do that right after each other too if you really wanted to. Sometimes there's some traffic but every time we've gone during the weekend it hasn't been crowded for us. In terms of what to do here, we see many families come here to hike, bike, yes, even mountain bikers, if you're up for an active obstacle course. Picnicking is also another fun day activity to do here too, so you can enjoy the headlands a bit longer than just driving through it. Although even that alone makes Liam feel like he got a breath of fresh air for the work week up ahead. This probably doesn't come as a surprise to anyone after looking at what the headlands look like, but it is a common spot for proposals. Yup, those romantic proposals that we all gush over with the picturesque background, all here. So don't be surprised if you see one of those happening. Not to mention, I've seen one done at night here where there's obviously less people around and the parking lot is empty. If you're making a trip out here, just maybe your significant other could be planning an engagement event. I don't know. Parking isn't easy though, but if you have the time to idle around a bit, people leave after snapping some photos. One tip for those who end up running into a busy time when visiting is you see these cars on the side of the road? You can certainly park your vehicle there too, really anywhere. Downtown SF is challenging for parking, as we all know, <laughs> because of all the restricted signs, but there's none of that on this side of the city, fortunately for tourists and the like. Another popular activity here is to visit Rodeo Beach. It's easy to find and hard to miss if you're reading the signs as you pass them on your way down the coastal route. We stopped by ourselves and just took a walk around, enjoying the once again panoramic view. Bring a book to read or if you want something more strenuous on the body while burning some calories, Grab a surfboard and head your way over here. Even when the weather is ranging in the lower 60s, we still see teams of surfers in their wetsuits grinning from riding those waves. Now on your way back to ground level, you'll take the scenic overlook route. I'm going to skip the footage of the Golden Gate Bridge since I've already shown its beauty earlier on the way up. But this is again where you can witness the famous Red Bridge of San Francisco, California. 
By the way, the Headlands is a huge lot of land, but there are scant choices for food and drinks. To be frank, I haven't seen any myself, which means they're not the easiest to find, say, if you get famished on your trip and forgot about your delectables. While we're on the subject of resources, I lost cell service sporadically. For those who are coming here for that and want to remove yourself off the grid, indulge, stow those phones away. But for those who want to post on TikTok or Instagram, you might have some interruptions. To close out the day in Sausalito, we drove by Richardson Bay, which, you know what, is quite a sight too, to be honest, albeit short. And that's a wrap for our drive through Marin Headlands. If you're looking to visit, contemplate no more. I assure you the experience won't disappoint. Happy travels, guys.